Yumu go Mario or Lucina here? He's or gonna most likely go Mario. He could just try. I know he went. Um, I think it was ignition or some 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 event yep. recently. He went all Lucina. But, okay, gotta go Mario. Right. Tried and true. He goes Lucina against Atata because yeah, because he has of Ness. Yeah. because of Ness. And I understand. I, I I would think that Ness is a little difficult for Mario. I mean, it's it's not necessarily like that. It's super difficult for Mario. It's just really good for Lucina. But right. Either way, we got Mario Fox, we got Team Fundies over here, whatever you guys call it nowadays. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got Fundies going, these are two old school characters, they stress oh, yeah. enough. Tom Wardo's getting a good Huge percentage. damage already, yeah. 66. But we know Yumu combos, they do quite a bit more than that, so we'll have to see if Tom Wardo can keep up this pressure and kind of keep the damage rolling, because as soon as he gets hit by one down throw or something like that, it, he could just die. Yumu combos, at least when I get hit by them, I feel like they never hit. So Yeah, oh, oh he's in it. danger! No way. He okay. almost died. That's a lot of say, dog. If he dodges that. He almost died. Beautiful reverse aerial yeah. rush right there. Now he's going to put him at the ledge, being aware of that up tilt. Yeah, pretty even in percent right now, but up smash is going to reach all the way over there and catch up the back air on shield. I'm With really surprised that hit. back and forth, that broke yeah. his meaty head, got that over. Yeah. Now we've got Yumu in the lead. I like the pace. Yumu oh, goes at he almost flipped him around. He knew he was going to side be there too, but the timing was a little bit off. That could have just been a stock. <laughs> he was right about away. to say, "All right, I'm going back to stage." Now yeah. you know you're going back to New York. <laughs> yeah, he almost pranked him right there, but Tom Morrow going to stay on this stock. He could get his ledge trap, but Yumu being very patient, getting back on this ledge slowly, not trying to rush anything because that's what Tom Morrow wants him to do. Trying to find good. it. Good down smash. Okay. It was a very good confirm right Here there. Here we go from Tom Wardo. I've seen, I've seen Tom Wardo take some pretty good sides too. Like I said, dude, Chicago, like, that higher end of mid-level is so, so good, entertaining to watch, dude. I love it because, like, they can just randomly beat, like, some of the best players in the region or at least go very, very competitive with them, like Tom Wardo's doing right now with number one, uh, or at least probably going to be number one this season, uh, Yumu. So, going to get done back off stage, though. Yeah, up fair. Another, Another up air, keep him off. Wow, extra damage right there. Blood to stall. Yeah, yeah. catch him. Wow. Give him a little smart. wash off. Oh, almost he almost put it. the Jesus Pleaser on him. <laughs> that should be a cape. Down? No, so, down to I think so. That was, I didn't... Like, that was a really bad angle right there to go for. And he just didn't. He should have died for it, honestly. But right now, Tom Wardo's working together a really good Huge. stock right now. Yeah, Tom Wardo, he's going to take it, whatever. However, is that going to kill? No, barely not. Not just yet. Next one definitely will. The, ref the shine not working on the water there. Kind of interesting. Oh, that should have been a back end from him, but air dodges away. Not going to get punished for it. That's okay. Tomorrow just needs to be very careful on Mario's shield right here. That's going to poke? That's going to poke the wow. tippy on the tippy toes. It's going to send him up. Yeah, if that didn't poke, that was definitely an up smash out of shield coming up from Tomardo. But oh, that yeah. last hit, barely going to go through. I think though, that's what happened. He probably dropped shield way he too might, Yeah, he might have also just up smashed first. But yeah. That, that was very close. Huge damage, that down throw, uh, that down air. Ooh, I like that bait, but it didn't really work out for Yumu right there. Yeah. So now he's going to try and see if he can get him going back towards the ledge. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good ba back air? Uh, oh, I no don't back think, air. I don't think up to back air would have been true right there. It was close, though. Up air, near. Up uh -oh. air, up air. He's going to get this ledge. Oh, good wait, but Tom Wardo able to up tilt before that landing. Going deep. Oh, oh no. no. That missed tech is very bad. That could be it. He's going to attack nope. that. Okay. Fights it through. Right now, oh, Tom Wardo no. shifting it. That might be oh it. my god! Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Okay, not getting the spike, but Mistech's still gonna do it. Yumo, uh, honestly, like I said, Tom Wardo, that was still a competitive game. He got him all the way to like that second stock, 150 percent. He could have got like a solid back air or just like anything right there in those scramble situations. If he timed it a little bit better, he could have taken you with a last stock. Mm -hmm. So again, still good showing from uh, from Tom Wardo, honestly. Right. Okay, so well, we're seeing it. We're gonna see it come through. Yeah. Yep. Another one. Okay. Another. another Running set. it right back, I believe. I don't think Tom has a second. Uh, he does I, have a Palutena. He has a Kirby. No, that's just. He has a Kirby one. and yes. a Palutena. Palutena, really? Yeah. I haven't seen that. I know. I've seen his Kirby, but. Yeah, I've seen the Kirby something. I think at Tri Point this week, he went all Kirby or something crazy. This one. Right. So let's see how this one goes. Tom Wardle strikes first, but up air, and Sam T responds right back. Up till, up till, double, instant double jump. I don't think he wanted to do that. He got an instant double jump up there, so he didn't. He wasn't able is to he dead? Him. He's dead. He is dead. Yo, Team Fundies is winning right now, you guys. That was crazy. Team Fundies, bro, hit the flat screen on him. <laughs> Tom Wardo now down an entire stock. Not, kind of not looking like that first game. First game, he was kind of, they were trading those stocks in the beginning. It was really close, but you move with those combos. Like I said, he will get you in them and he will not let go until you die. Right. And I think what's scary about it because it's his patience. Yeah. He's not a super hyper aggressive Mario. He floats and then he starts going in. Wow. He's a actually going through that jab. That was interesting. He's a reminiscent of uh, Sean, the Falcon, if you played Mario, where he's floating, 
floats and scary a little bit, but then he, once he's in, he's yeah, like Yeah, he well, he'll dance around your shield. He knows what's safe and what isn't very well. He knows his frame data. He knows your frame data better than you, probably. Yeah. He probably even knows what category your character is. Yeah, I bet you didn't even know what, what he's talking about. Oh, that down angled F tilt gonna hit the, the up be like that? That's insane. Yeah. I would have never thought of something like that. Wow. Oh, up air, up air, another up air. one. Gonna keep him in the air. Up tilt to stop the nair. The juggle situation coming That's through. That's kind of a desperate up smash from um, Tom Wardo right there. Barely Fair. making that recovery back, but it's sent back off stage right away. Dash attack not gonna two frame. Fair's gonna punish that dash attack attempt. Oh, oh and wow. going okay. right through the fire yeah. and said, nah, man, yeah. take this foot. Yuma was expecting him to dash straight in a little bit sooner. He actually kind of did get the read on Tom Wardle, but again, that timing was just not there. But Tom Wardle going to take it back up till not. Nah, we got to give him some credit. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll give him some read. credit. We'll say that Tom Wardle baited out, but bro got baited into a roll in. And yeah. there we have right now, Yumu is cooking he full is. stock ahead. That up tilt trading, that's insane, dude. This is characters. He just, he knows exactly where Tom Wardle wants to land and how. Every single time. Back he's very good at catching Tom Wardle in disadvantage. Gonna get the jab oh, lock. Oh, jab locks. No sweet spot, but he's still way he's off stage. Now. Out there. Up B, not gonna do it. Back he throw. is an outlier on a graph right now. Yeah. Just can't really get back to stage and it's really rough Sour right now. forward air trading again to just keep Tom Wardle disadvantage. A lot of trades are just going straight in Yuma's favor right here. He will take this any day of the week. Ooh, that could have been up smash. I think it was supposed to be that. Turnaround up tilt was a little bit of a strange option if it was intentional. But I'll be hitting through the stage, dude. But yeah. Holding down on your up special. It'll yeah, I you. know. But that was like the whole, that was like a whole block away from him, dude. So I'm, all my measurements in this game are, are just blocks. Tom Wardle trying to be patient yeah. a little bit. And Sam T recognizes, realizes he is not a Wow, that would have done it. Not going to be able to punish it either with a down smash, though. And up down air will not do it. Wow, I 140 on Fox. I'm surprised. Ooh, the falling, slow falling down yeah. air. I love that patience right there by Sam T. Jab. Oh, no way. Why is he attacking it? No, he's not. The jab won into catching his up B with his own. That's an uh, interesting way to end that set. But, I mean, again, that first game, Tom Wardle had a lot of life in that. Like, he, he was definitely being way more competitive. I mean, honestly, that last game, too, still ended in a similar way with Yuma with that really high percent, almost taking him to last stock. But... Mm -hmm. Yuma yeah, just being able to adapt and knowing exactly where um, Tom Wardle is going to land is really strong. So. And it is a very it's an interesting matchup. I know Tom has expressed a little frustration with Mario, simply really? because of the tools that he is able to have against Tom. Probably because of recovery and stuff like that. Um, I can see that. Uh, is this Tassibu? Am I seeing? I think so. Is this Tass Tassibu and who? Tassibu Abe. Wait, Abe is back on stream again. Yo, that's awesome. Tassibu be Toad? Yeah, wow. Jesus. Tasubu over Toad to get, okay, so this is interesting. So now we're going to see. I'm going to look at this bracket, actually, because I'm going to start, I'm going to be playing soon, maybe after this set or something like that. I'm not sure. Or whenever they start wave 